Doc, kailan ko ba pwedeng pakainin si baby? At ano ang pwede kong ibigay? Hi, I am Dr. Candice Eller and I am a pediatrician. And today I'm going to talk about complementary feeding in a 6-month-old baby. 6 months is the best time to feed because your baby can now sit with support and swallowing is better. That means that makakaupo na baby ng maayos at makakaswalo na siya ng maayos compared to when they were younger. Now, there are some who believe that 4 months pwede na daw mag-feed pero actually hindi po siya recommended because hindi pa po ready yung chan ni baby para kumain. No? So sometimes when your child gets older, you will notice some clues. No? You will notice na parang inaabot niya na yung food at parang nag-open din siya ng mouth niya kung kakain kayo. Mas maganda po kasi kung when you start your complementary feeding, nakakaupo si baby katabi ninyo or uh, makikita niya na kumakain kayo. Okay, so there are around four points that I want you to remember when you start your complementary feeding. Number one, you should start with fruits and vegetables. Now, the consistency should be in puree or parang blended na form. Medyo liquid, no? Medyo liquid na form na minamash mo ng maayos or pinipuree mo ng maayos yung food ni baby mo. Now, the capacity of the stomach is around 2 to 3 teaspoons. So, pa konti konti lang po. So, um, minsan, excited po tayong magbigay ng food, pero uh, dapat pa konti konti lang. So, na the capacity of the stomach kasi is maliit lang. Now, what about the mga processed food, no? So, meron tayong available, no? Sa mga groceries na processed food. But processed food, the recommendation is once a day lang. No? So, better na natural food po talaga si baby mo. So, best to start with fruits and vegetables. And siguro, after 2 or 3 weeks, you could already uh, incorporate yung mga proteins, rich foods, no? Number 2. Now, when you start your food, there is a 3-day rule. So, ano pa ang 3-day rule? Meaning, for example, when you give your baby uh, food, uh, example, on a Monday, you give, uh, for example, mashed banana. Pag Thursday, you have a namanya squash, for example, na mash. And then, by Sunday, you give another type of food, no? So, uh, to develop the child's stomach, no? you, you want to observe if there is any problems with digestion within the next three days or if there are any allergies sa baby mo with regards to the food that you gave. Okay? So, you have that time. No? So, for example, today, nagbigay ka. Pag next day, nagbigay ka ulit. And on the third day, the same food because you want to observe no? if my allergy or wala. Okay? Next. Third is, they should have their own utensils. So, dapat po, hindi po sobrang deep yung bowl, tsaka yung kanyang spoon is maliit lang. No? Just enough para mag-fit mag sa mouth ng baby mo. Uh, I-avoid na po natin yung sinishare. No? Minsan, meron po, po yan eh, na nakikita natin na ginagamit ni mommy, ginagamit ni baby. So, hindi na po pwede yun. Kailangan meron po si baby sarili. No? So, it's okay na medyo uh, the, your baby will have a mess. No? So, okay lang po yan. May nahuhulog ng pagkain, may pagkain everywhere. You can use your bib naman. No? Okay? So, those are the three things. And the fourth one is, of course, continue breastfeeding. So, as we say, this is just a complementary feeding. We are providing the nutrients na Kumbaga, kailangan na ni baby kasi lumalaki na siya. But still, we want you to continue breastfeeding. Okay? Thank you for listening and I hope you learned something today.